This is Ibrahim, aka Ron Johnson, coming to you from La Salle in Philadelphia. One of my favorite cities to go to, to explore, eat, have some fun, and of course, watch Mason get the dub over La Salle. Um, it was a pretty um, crucial victory for us. Um, saw some great performances from Justin Kyer and Jordan Miller. Um, Jordan Miller really active on defense, uh, got about like four or five steals. Um, Justin, we saw locked in early on, you know, uh, gave us our hot, uh, our hot start. Um, and, uh, I just, I'm just really happy we got this, this win on the road. Uh, first win in conference play. Um, I had to speak to Justin about his performance. Uh, he is our KMN law firm player of the game. Um, this is what he had to say about his performance today. You had a hot start in this game. Uh, how do you translate that success to your rest of your teammates uh, um, in the second half? Just, they, they, they know what they got to do. Um, you know, just encourage them to continue to shoot the ball and continue to, you know, be the defensive um, stoppers that I know everybody can be on the team. Um, other than that, um, you know, the guys, you know, what they're best at and, you know, they work on that and get in the gym on their own and I get in the gym on my own and all that kind of stuff. So we just got to focus on the, uh, the good things that everybody brings um, to the team um, and embrace our role and, and, you know, just keep going forward. That one and all mentality, is that still going on even after a loss or is that something oh, yeah. that you guys it's, preach it's, every time? Throughout the every, – every single day is one and all. And, and then, the, you know, the past couple games that we've lost, we, we didn't – we didn't think about that. We didn't think about one and those. We didn't think about, you know, just getting better in this moment. Um, and we got back to those roots when we came to LaSalle. And, you know, obviously it helped us for sure. What have you seen from your teammates uh, as far as their confidence when bouncing back? What can you speak on about their confidence going into this game? Definitely maturity because, um, like I said, I've been with a lot of teams who they play uh, – certain individuals play bad and they put their head down and they, you know, just kind of lose it a little bit. And this team is great maturity, uh, has great maturity. Um, when they have a slump, you know, they just they just stay focused, stay locked in, and trust the process like everybody else should. And, and, and that's the biggest thing with me is I, I'm, I'm proud of our guys and how mature that we've uh, gotten over the year. He also spoke on, you know, his role as a leader on this team, uh, what he brings to the table as a leader, and what he sees out of his teammates. Um, and, you know, a team leader has to be aware of what his teammates' uh, roles are, um, how to um, help them, you know, in the middle of the game, make adjustments, um, take, you know, a place from coach, you know, translate success to his teammates. And he seemed like he really was locked in today. Um, we also spoke to Dave Paulson. Um, we touched on, you know, the importance of, you know, getting the first 8-10 victory and, um, you know, Paulson's always talked about guys hanging their heads. Uh, he liked what he saw today. Um, this is what he had to say about his team's performance today. Yeah, um, yeah it's it just a great win for our guys. I love the way they bounce back. I love the way they bounce back on Thursday and Friday with their focus level, yes, not hanging their heads. Um, you know, we told them we were 11 and 1. You know, I was telling you how great you are, and that wasn't quite true. You have to keep getting better, and then you lose three in a row. People tell you how bad you are. That's not true either. You just got to get a little bit better. Um, what I liked that didn't happen before is like we were struggling to score in the first half, and we continued to defend. And we just said we're built to win 52-50 at halftime. A little math, it's 26-23. Okay, that will get us to 52. You know, I thought our we, we focused on the things we could control defensively energy, taking care of the ball. Um, we got a little sloppy at the end. Um, you know, lost a little bit of focus and then got a little tired, but uh, really proud of our guys. We saw some different looks from AJ today early on. Uh, he was shooting the ball uh, outside the post. Uh, was there any set game plan for him going into this game? No, I mean, it's just something that AJ, he's, he's been able to do that. He shot the ball exceptionally well from the perimeter in the preseason, you know, in like practices. Um, for him, he, he can do that, he can drive it, he can post it. Um, and it's just, again, him finding his rhythm based on what's available in a particular game. Um, you know, he, he had a little bit of a slump there, you know, where he's missing shots. 
And I thought what I thought was a good indicator was at the end of the second second half of Bonnie's, he started making some shots, feeling a little more comfortable. Um, and that's you know he he's a versatile guy and he's not a a bruising back to the basket player, so he's got to use his versatility. We've seen your team uh, keep it close going into the second half. Uh, what do you say to your guys when you're coming out and try to get to a hot start in the second half? I mean, really, it's just focus on the stuff you can control, your defense, your energy, your ball movement. You can't control it you knock down the shots or not. But when you focus on things you can't control, then oddly enough, then you tend to shoot the ball better. But when you're thinking about, oh, i got to go score, i got to go do this, Hard to execute a fine motor skill when you're thinking about it. So, you know, I'm thinking about it and just do what we do.